Hello everybody, my name is Julio. Just wanted to make a quick video for you and show you guys how to create your Google My Business page. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to business.google.com to create your new business name. You'll have to have a login account with Google. All you have to do, this is the first thing you'll be prompted with. It'll ask you for the business name find the name of the business that you manage. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to create a towing company in Indiana. I'm just going to call it Indiana Towing. And it says add your business, business name, Indiana Towing Company. The next thing it'll ask you is what category do you want your business to be on? And towing service is what this thing is, so that's what we're going to call it. If you own a roadside assistance company and you want to put roadside assistance, you actually don't have that option. And I recommend either putting car service or towing service, if not both. And you want to be careful about which category you choose. Make sure you pick the right one. And we'll move on here. So the next thing that Google will ask you to do is if you want to add a location that customers can visit, like a store or an office. So this is strictly for people that have a business where people show up and actually request services or come pick up their cars, such as an impound lot. This is not for uh, the guy that has a roadside service that doesn't have a body shop or a garage place where he normally accepts customers. So for this one, we are going to put no. We don't want to add a location. Unless you have an impound lot or a place where customers normally visit, you always want to say no. Next thing it asks you is where do you serve your customers? Uh, so for this company, I'm in Indianapolis, so I'm just going to put Indiana. But you want to put Indiana, you want to put all the, all the cities that you know, all of the counties that you know, as long as, and also zip codes. So once you do that, it'll ask you some suggested areas just based on my location I'm in Indiana. Uh, but you'll just want to put here as detailed as possible how many locations you want to target. So there we go. The Fisher is another area around here. And so it's Carmel. So just look what you want to do there. And on the next part, it's going to ask you to enter contact details. So this will be your business phone number. For this one, I'll just put my line. And it also asks you to put in your website. If you have a website, you would enter it here. And if you don't have one, Google will give you a free one based on the information that you enter. It's not the greatest, but it is free. So I definitely recommend doing that and getting your free website, even if you have your current URL. If you don't have your current URL, don't add it. Get your free website anyway and come back and enter your URL later. So we'll just go there. Now it says you'll be able to manage Indiana Towing Company on Google. But really, it's just taking you to the next step, which is the verification process. So just taking you guys forward here. Now it asks you to put in where your address is or your business address so that they can verify that your business is legit. So this is where you would put your street address where you live, where you can receive mail. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to put some random address, 1234 Maple Drive, Exit Indianapolis, 46250, and Indiana. All right. And you can also choose to verify later, but if you do this, it'll take you to this next step. And this is where you will request the postcard, right? So in the other one, you just told it where you wanted it sent. Here you're going to ask you to actually put who it's going to be sent to, and then they're going to send it to you within five days. So I'm just going to put Julio Canseco, which is my name, and I click mail. So what will happen within the next five days is Google will have a postcard that they will generate and email me, or not email, but they will mail it to me, and I will receive it in my inbox here outside the house. I'll open it. It's going to have a five to six digit code on there. Uh, once you get that code, you go back into your account 
whenever you're ready to, up, to update that code and you enter it to Google. So let me get to that page here. So pending verification, you requested a postcard. Most postcards arrive within five days. Usually somewhere on here, there's a button that says verify your email. Um, but let's see what it says. When I go to info, you should see something about verify your information. So it says here, your edits won't appear on Google until you verify your business. And then it says verify now. So once I, so let's say five days from now, I check my mailbox and I get that postcard. I go in here. I click verify now and here I go I enter the five digit code and within a few hours your listing that you applied for will come up and this is what my listing looks like here in Indiana or Indianapolis All right so this is my listing here lots of information um, but that is essentially how you verify your towing or roadside assistance business with Google. Um, if you accidentally put the wrong address, don't worry. You can also go ahead and have them mail it again and change the address. Um, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to verify it and then start changing a bunch of information, right? So what you want to do is start the Google My Business account, set it up, and leave it alone for at least a couple months. That way gets going and Google trusts it enough to not take it down. Especially now with all the towing businesses that are coming out, Google will start requiring some extra verification for this industry, just like they have for the locksmith industry and the garage door industry. Just figure it's going to happen. But this is exactly how you do it. I will be posting another video on what to do after you verify it, and you guys will get to see it in a minute. Thank you, and hope you guys find this video useful.